Hello people, I thought that creating a thumbnail like what you have seen in this video's thumbnail that looks like a subwoofer will be interesting. And what is a portable battery powered subwoofer? Subwoofers are huge. Subwoofers have large cones, 8 inch, 10 inches, 12 inches and even 15, 18 inches. The world's biggest, I believe, commercially available is 21 inches and they do not run on batteries because they suck a lot of power they require amps that could possibly run into thousands of watts so what is a battery powered portable subwoofer well here it is in my hands in between my fingers this is the gemini 2 from devil it is battery powered wireless earbuds right so why do I say it's battery powered and it is portable and it is a subwoofer? Because it is truly, really like having a battery powered subwoofer stuffed into your ears. So if you're watching anything on the move, you're listening to music on the move and you need great bass, I really don't know what else to recommend you other than the Devil A Gemini 2. Now, I previously have reviewed the Devil A Gemini 1, which was also a bass monster. It was great, but well, at this point in time, with the Gemini 2, I'm looking at this Devil A Gemini 1 with a little bit of a, well, maybe there's some shortcomings. And the most immediate shortcoming is the size of it. So if you compare how these two looks, this is the 2 and this is the 1. I mean, look at the size difference, right? It is truly, truly remarkable. Even the casing itself, right, is so much different in size. This is chunky and big. And this is slim slim very very tiny very small casing very well made it, it has wireless charging by the way it also accepts usb-c so same like the gemini one they kept those best quality of life features and the earbud itself right the actual earbud itself is also quite a fair bit smaller so if you take a look at the gemini one i know i'm holding up in my hand so you can't really see let me try to get closer right on this side here, you have the Gemini 1. Take a look at it. This is the Gemini 2, right? You can't really tell that it is a lot of difference, but holding in my hands, I'm saying that they shrunk down the volume by about 50%. Weight-wise, probably not much of a difference, but because your ears aren't huge things, right? So when you stuff it into your ear, the difference is remarkable. After about an hour, an hour and a half, you will actually feel that the Gemini 1 is um, kind of like stretching your earlobes out just a little bit because of the sheer size of this, right? Because they had to fit so much bass. How much bass? 5 hertz of bass. 5 hertz. And the Gemini 2 is specced to go down to 5 hertz of bass as well. So 5 hertz of bass, you can't really hear it, but you can feel it. Now, one of the tracks that I use to test um, all my songs is um, this track from uh, Eric Banner. So one of the tracks that I use to test any speakers or any headset, headphones, earbuds, whatever, um, is this First Cells. First Cells from Eric Serra, and it is from the music soundtrack of Lucy, that movie, right? Um, not a fantastic movie, watchable, but anyway, I'm digressing. Now, First Cell, Eric Serra. When this songs play, right, within seconds, right, from the opening note, you will be able to tell if the speaker is capable of any reasonable amount of bass, right? Because when you talk about how speakers sound, right, they can spec it to 5 hertz, they can spec it to 20 hertz, 15 hertz, whatever it is, but you they usually avoid talking about whether it sounds distorted at that range. Yes, you can have 5 hertz frequency response. It responds at 5 hertz, but it could be breaking up already. It could be flat, flabby bass. It could be, you know, it's just not something pleasant. It feels like something is distorted. It feels like something is breaking up. It feels like something is moving. It's like a piece of paper moving, right? And it just doesn't sound like music. It just doesn't sound like how it was supposed to sound like. But when you listen to this soundtrack, First Cell, Eric Serra, from Lucy, the soundtrack, you'll hear how it's supposed to sound like because the bass does not break. Now, Devil A is making amplifiers in the thousands, in the tens of thousands of dollars. Just the amplifier, no speakers, 
nothing just the amplifier itself now i have a pair of double uh, reactors somewhere in the house but um that would be the phantom reactor phantom 2 maybe that's what they call it i think they changed the name a couple of times but they don't break up right when they spec it to go down to 5 hertz to 10 hertz to 15 18 hertz it goes down to that frequency without distortion and this is true to specs right some brands from lower brands some not so uh, highly capable equipment will say i can go down to 10 hertz but yeah it registers a response at 10 hertz it doesn't mean that it's able to play properly at 10 hertz now i have blabbered on a lot about how this sounds like but i don't know how else to test this i don't think i can record anything or let you hear how it sounds like you just got to trust my take on the devil a uh, gemini 2 it is that good when it comes to the sound but there are a couple of other things that we have to talk about um, because that's not the only thing right one of the things that we have to talk about that is that in singapore it's going to cost 629 dollars 629 dollars my goodness and that 629 dollars is going to buy you either this matte black with a metal finish uh, i think um, very shiny finish at the front or the white one if you wanted the gold plated one they have the opera de paris and that is like 929 dollars i don't know it's going to be hard to convince anyone to put down the kind of money but if you've got money to spend 929 dollars i think it gets you an extra casing and uh well bragging rights i guess i don't know but you know sound wise this is great i'm just wondering whether i'm gonna give up a couple of other things just to spend 629 dollars to buy this gemini 2 but i really am loving it now a couple of other things besides the pricing as well uh availability it should be available the time you see this video i'm making a video ahead of the embargo lift which is on the 13th of september 6 a.m singapore time um but there are a couple of other things that i want to touch on okay i should stop blabbering my videos aren't as structured as i like them to be but i'm just sharing my enthusiasm all right so there are a couple of things here um first is the noise cancellation so devil a says this cancels up about 40 decibels of noise you know the thing is i don't know how they measure it i don't i don't really care how they measure it actually so i test them out and i try to hear them for myself well it does cut out quite a bit of sound but a lot of new stuff from uh both from sony xm uh, xf5 i think yeah they they kind of sound just as good right so i would say it is probably on par um some of my fellow youtubers like aaron will probably do a very very good job at testing the devil a uh, gemini 2 so maybe watch out for his review now the other thing is that the noise cancelling mode on the original gemini 1 in terms of the software you'll see that they have three frequency um three uh, strength settings right you can go low medium or high but in the new one you only have like noise cancelling and there is a transparency mode which is available on both the one and the two but on the one there are two levels of transparency on the gemini 2 there's only one level of transparency or and uh, there's no in-between mode so there is no uh, adaptive mode or anything that will switch in between the two but what is interesting is that the gemini 2 actually features a bone conduction voice sensor there's something inside this the earpiece itself that it will detect when you are speaking not when somebody else is speaking because the sound that is trying to detect is actually the voice your own voice coming in through your skull your bones to reach this so when you are trying to speak it probably may do something the software that we are testing today is actually in beta mode so it is probably unfinished at this point in time and uh, i'm sure they could make some good use of their features just imagine if you started talking it switches to transparency if you're not talking and other people are on call you could still cut them out um thinking of a use case where that will be useful but yeah i can imagine them doing a couple of things uh there is also a six band equalizer in both of this and it's a plus minus six db uh, pretty strong and pretty capable equalization but i would say that sound wise um, 
they are pretty similar. Both of the Gemini 1s and the Gemini 2, they really, really sound great. I wanted to use the Gemini 1 a lot more, except that it's a little bit too big and maybe uncomfortable for all day use, right? But for the Gemini 2, they're small and they are very, very comfortable to wear. They stick inside. Uh, the weight is not dragging it out. The size is not dragging it out. So it feels pretty comfortable. I haven't had a lot of time with this. I wish I had more time with this, but I'm just wondering whether I want to spend the money to buy this or not. But uh, right now, it does feel comfortable. I am enjoying the sound that's coming from it. Okay, so there's just one more feature that Devil is talking about, and that is the wind cancellation. So it actually boasts some... Uh, software as well as hardware feature, right? In this earbuds, there are some mics, right? It's the beam forming mics. Actually, they do have uh, coverings. I'm actually trying to figure out, I think it could be the front of this where you are looking at here. If you could capture yeah, this part here or the top of it or some internal mic. I don't know where the mic is, but apparently there's a way where it is actually covering it. So when you get wind noise, right? Let's say you're walking out in the open and there's a slight breeze or you're sitting in front of a fan or the air conditioner and the wind is blowing, it will prevent um, the sound of the wind from invading the conversation. So how you sound like is technically supposed to sound a little bit better. Now, I have to say this, I tested the voice recording, my own voice, right, on this Devil A Gemini 2. Um, I tested them in front of a fan in this place itself, as well as out in the open in the balcony. Now, um, I'll let you listen to it yourself because I recorded a couple of passages, both on the Gemini 1 and the Gemini 2. And if you hear it, well, just hear it for yourself first. This is a recording done on the Gemini 1 with noise cancellation mode on set to high. I am now 4 feet away from the front of the fan. It is blowing at medium setting and what you are hearing now is exactly what the party on the other end of the line will be hearing. This is a recording done on the Gemini 2 with noise cancellation mode on. I am now 4 feet away from the front of the fan. It is blowing at medium setting and what you're hearing now is exactly what the party on the other end of the line will be hearing. This is a recording done on the Gemini 1 with noise cancellation mode on and set to high. I'm now standing on my balcony. I'm about four stories up and it is raining a little bit. It's facing a quiet part of the estate. There are no walls to the front and to the sides of me to bounce my voice around. And this is how it will sound like on the Gemini 1. This is a recording done on the Gemini 2 with noise cancellation mode on. I'm now standing on my balcony. I'm about four stories up and there's a little bit of the rain. It is facing a quiet part of the estate. There are no walls in the front and the sides of me to bounce my voice around. And this is how it will sound like in the open. This is a recording done on the Gemini 1 with noise cancellation mode set on high. I am now recording in the studio environment. The room is quiet and there's a soft aircon hum and some fan noise from the network attached storage up in the cabinet above. This is a recording done on the Gemini 2 with noise cancellation mode on. I am now recording in the studio environment. The room is quiet and there's a soft aircon hum and some fan noise from the network storage, network attached storage up in the cabinet above. So as you can tell, actually, the recording, the voice recording on the Gemini 1, which they didn't advertise with all those fancy vocal enhancing algorithm as well as the wind cancelling mode, it actually sounds a lot more natural. On the Gemini 2, the sound, the my voice sounds a little bit wobbly, sounds a little bit wobbled up and it sounds overly processed. Um, as though in a bit to actually cut off the noise. Now, I do believe that this is a software issue, um, but I would say that if you are buying the Gemini 2 for conference calls, please don't do it. It's $629. You could spend buy that money buying a couple of uh, poly, poly headsets. So don't, don't spend the money on that. If you are spending the $629 to buy a music making machine for consumption of music and movies on the go, personal audio, then yes, right? It sounds fantastic. That sound is just incredible. If you're using it, if you're spending the money so that someone else can hear you clearly, then my guess is probably not. Save the money, 
spend it on other things. But for your own enjoyment, for your own benefit, $629, I'm struggling with that because it is a lot of money, but I think I want it. So let me know what you think. Is $629 a little bit too much to ask for something from Devilly? Well, it is Devilly. They make amplifiers that are tens of thousands of dollars. So, uh, Devilly, why do you have to make it so hard for me? I really love this thing and you're making me pay for it. Oh, God. Anyway, um, if I have this for a little bit more time or if I were to be able to buy it for myself, then maybe I'll make a little bit more content on this guy. I actually have the Bose Quiet Comfort. Uh, that's the QC earbuds, the QC. Oh, I can't remember what it is. Anyway, QC2 wireless earbud, uh, Quiet Comfort. QC. Oh, God, all these names. I'll show you the next time if you want. Okay, so right now, for now, I like this. See you.